Over 30 million of these glass capsules were produced by General Electric's LAMP Department to make the VT radio proximity fuse a practical success and one of our most effective defenses against Japanese kamikaze attacks. When the shell is fired, the capsule shatters, freeing the electrolyte, which makes the battery operative. A tiny radio station then sends out radio waves, which, if reflected by any target 70 feet or less away, detonate the projectile at the ideal distance for maximum effect. One of the biggest problems in making the glass capsule was to make sure that it broke only when you wanted it to. It had to be strong enough not to break when handling ammunition, yet it had to break when fired in low-velocity projectiles, rockets, or high-velocity projectiles, anti-aircraft. GE's glass technologists solved this problem and produced the capsule on machines used to make Christmas tree lamp bulbs, which is one of the reasons why Christmas tree lights were so hard to get during World War II. Lamp Department, General Electric Company, 1945.